Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Sunique and today I'm talking Moonology. Um, the reason being, I bought the latest one, the Moonology Messages Oracle, and I thought we would see how it lined up with the other offerings from Yasmin Boland. So this is the diary 2024, and to be quite honest, it's the same every year. It really rarely changes. Um, but the reason I got this um, was because it was super cheap. And the reason that I bought the new Moonology Messages Oracle is because it was super cheap. <laughs> really inexpensive decks. It's Hay, Hay House, I think. Yeah, they're all Hay House. So I just wanted to see how they lined up with the other two decks. So this was the original Moonology deck. Um, I can't remember when they came out. It'll just say in the guidebooks anyway. I'll have a look in a second. And then this is the second deck, the Manifestation Moonology one. And then this is the Messages Oracle. So, let's take the cellophane off actually first. So, they've all got different artists who've done the artwork on these decks. So, the first one was Nix Roman, the second one, Laurie Mena, and this is Ali Vermilio. So, yeah, they've not stayed with the same artists. And there is a difference in the art style. <coughs> let's just, before I start with a new deck, let's just. I'll just go through the differences with um, the original. So let's let the moon be your guide. Um, the manifestation says attune to the moon and manifest miracles. So that's the differences there. Um, this one's rather creased, but they both are. This was out in 2018, then this one was 2021, so three years between these two decks. Um, now the difference is, is well, I'll just I'll just go through it quickly. Yeah, so in the mm, in the original we had 44, and then the second one we had 48 cards. Right, so this one, it goes through the different moon phases. New moon, wane, uh, waxing crescent, first quarter, give us, surrender to the divine for the full moon, and then we've got the disseminating, and then into the different phases. So each one has some actionable words. Um, so that goes through the uh, third quarter, the sonic, and then on to new moon in Aries, and that's where this one kicks in. So, again, um, actionable words. Nice artwork in this one, actually. And the things I, I like about this is the glyphs for the um, astrological signs as well. So I thought that that's nice. But you can see it's the same moon phase. Um, whereas here they've put the ram sign full and centre. So, yeah. It's a glyph on this one, but the animal or the energy on that one. So that one is Know Your Worth, Prosperity Lies Ahead. Communication is key, think it through. New Moon in Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe, relax. So, I mean, they sort of echo each other. So it goes on. And then we're on to, yeah, after Pisces, then we go the first quarter moon. Maybe after Pisces, this one goes full moon. So the difference is here, we go the moon phases first, then um, the astrological ones, and then we go the full moon and special moon cards after that and so blue moon void of course moon that sort of thing yeah. whereas in this one we go through all of the phases of the moon with the astrological signs so they've been combined together 
So that's the sort of difference there. Whereas in that one, uh, it's not as uh, aligned to the star signs in this one. Only in the new moon and the full moon do they include the actual star signs, the astrological signs. Um, whereas in this one, they align them all. So that's the difference between those two. So what have we done with this new one? I'm intrigued to find out. So we have Moonology Messages. Okay, so what's it say? The ever-changing moon speaks to those of us who are listening. You include hints and messages which come through as intuition. All we need to do is align with her phases and listen to her whispers. Uh, so this tap, this oracle taps into this lunar vision, wisdom, lunar wisdom, via forty-eight moon symbols, helping you navigate toward positivity and peace. Be inspired to take action based on your inner knowing. Ask a question, receive an answer. The mystical moon is guiding you. So this is collage. This is a collage artist. Let's have a look. Okay, so in that inside says call on goddess Saraswati to guide your intuition. Oh, blood moon. You haven't had that one before. This is the guidebook is oh, 121 pages. Uh, contents. Okay. It's all about intuition, the spirit of the deck, how these cards can help you, how to use the deck. One card draws, what if you don't like the card you get? Reading for other people, should you let others touch the cards, clearing your cards, and then the interpretations. Oh, this is different. Okay, so this is um, different moon energies to the other two decks. So I'm just wondering what was the next phase, if you like, of this series. Okay. Okay, so we've got the paper band we get on Hay House decks. These are the bands. This is a completely different feel, isn't it? Put these cards away. <laughs> okay, so those were the original. These were the second deck, and now we're onto this. So they're, they're a softer feel, really. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, um, this deck, this artwork. Is reminding me of the Serpent Fire Tarot. Devony Wolf. Mm. No, Devony Wolf's got their own um, astrological deck. Oh, yeah, anyway, let's have a look. Blood Moon, Courage. Cold Moon, Face Your Fears. Dark Moon, The Past. Dark side of the moon, <laughs> mystery. <laughs> it's very much like the Pink Floyd uh, rainbow prism. <laughs> Day moon, love. Domicile moon, abundance. Nice map cardstock. Drawing down the moon, knowledge. Exalted moon, self regulation. The falling moon, release blocks. Follow the moon, watch for signs. Full moon, forgiveness. Healing moon, seek healing. That's the image off the back of the card, isn't it? Howl at the moon, process your feelings. Moon beams, focus. Moon called, meant to be. Moon circles, support. It's just, 
I'm seeing the She-Wolf Tarot here. <laughs> really seeing that deck. Uh, Moon Cycles, Patience. Moon Dance, Celebration. Moon Flower, Take a Risk. Moon Goddess, Higher Power. Moon in Detriment, Cut Your Losses. Moonlight Enchanted. Moonlight Serenade, Change Your Tune. Moonlit, Embrace Uncertainty. Moon Madness, Avoid Drama. Moon Magic, Transformation. Moon Mastery. The Law of Attraction, Moon Maybe, Intuition, Moon Memories of the Past, Moonrise, Cleansing, Moon Rising, Truth, Moon Set, Release, Releasing, Moon shining, stay in integrity. The moon's moment, synchronicity. The moon's reflection, accept responsibility. The moonstone, slow it down. Moon struck, take a breath. The moon's wisdom, take the lead. New Moon Beginnings, Night Moon Shadow Work, Out of Bounds Moon Boundaries, Quicksilver Moon Changes, Reach for the Moon, Go for it. I've seen that in another deck. Yep. New moon in Aries, go for it. Hmm. Ring around the moon, protection. Talk to the moon, communicate. Avoid moon, do nothing. Yang moon, strength. Interesting. Yin moon, accept help. Mmm, mmm, don't like. That sort of makes me feel like the feminine side of, um, is weaker than the masculine. That I don't like. I know we've got the sun and the moon, the yin and the yang, but um, we complement each other, don't we? I don't, mmm. Sorry, that, I didn't like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, it really reminds me, in artwork, of the Serpent Fire Tarot. <sighs> if this deck hadn't been such a bargain, I would not have bought it. There's my honesty. Full moon forgiveness. Um... I'll have a look at an entry for one of them. Do see the moon in the daytime, actually. Mm. Oh, straight on it, love. <clears throat> there's something miraculous about seeing the moon during the day, agreed? And there's something even more miraculous about love. There is also something miraculous afoot, quite possibly, to do with love. When you draw this card, it suggests that although there still may be challenges, and oh, there are always challenges in relationships, you have a relationship that's worth thinking about. Love is dawning, love is rising, like the day moon. If you're in a troubled relationship of any kind, personal or professional, take this card as a sign that the toughest obstacles are behind you. The way to find partnership happiness now is to remove your ego from the situation and allow the purity of your feelings to guide you. 
If you're attracted to someone, this card is a sign to show your feelings. Even in a non-romantic situation, the message of this card is similar. It's crucial to show someone else involved in your question how you feel. Your feelings are more important than your ego. Better days are dawning, bluer skies are ahead of you. Live for love and love will live for you. Additional meanings for this card. Something unexpected is about to happen. Stay tuned. A secret is about to exp be exposed. Working with the moon will help you now. Life is what you make it. It's time to start seeing life's magic. About this symbol, as the moon moves into her quarter moon phases, especially after full moon, conditions develop us develop for us to have a day moon, i.e. to see the moon during the day, because she's far enough away from the sun and rises or sets during daylight. Okay, that's the entry. Um, yeah, being completely honest, um, I like the artwork, but it doesn't feel authentic. <coughs> I'm going to be honest here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll play with it, see what I get from it. Uh, might be an idea to work with the decks together. I'm not sure. But yeah, like I said, if it hadn't been such a bargain and it was a real bargain, then I wouldn't even have uh, contemplated getting this deck. But yeah, I thought, why not? It was up on offer. So that's why I did. Anyway, I feel like I'm being very negative about this deck, actually, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sort of feeling that they're being churned out a little bit, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> on that negative ninny note, uh, thank you so much for watching, friends. Bye now.